Five years ago, I thought of an idea to create an original series called How to Build the Minigames Lobby, showing viewers how to build the, at that time, new Minecraft console edition minigames lobby. Over the four months the series did air, I produced only 10 episodes, however, with the last releasing on November 16th, 2017, leaving the series and all its viewers who watched it in a suspended state, needing more episodes to finish the lobby. Ever since way back then when the final episode released, I've had dozens upon dozens of requests to either finish the series or delete the existing episodes so the cycle doesn't continue. But I I haven't done anything until now. So over these next few weeks, I'm going to be showing you piece by piece how to build an exact replica of the classic 2016 Minecraft console edition minigames lobby. Then afterwards, I will be fully finishing the original how to build the minigames lobby series. So today for episode 1 of how to build the classic minigame lobby, we'll be building the fountain. This is the best part of the lobby to start our series, as in future episodes we'll be building onto the fountain, using it as a centerpiece for everything. Before starting this build, you'll need to make sure you have a 15 by 15 block space, or else the fountain will not fit. Once you have found an ideal area to start though, begin by taking your stone bricks and starting 2 blocks away from the corners, place 11 blocks. We're going to place 11 blocks on each side, leaving the corners exposed for the time being. Once you've placed all the stone bricks, you should have something that looks like this. Now we're going to go to all the corners and we're going to add one single dirt block with a chisel stone brick on top, then one grass block in the corner. Now going back to the chisel stone bricks, you're going to want to count four blocks across and place another chisel stone brick, leaving three blocks in between them. Then add an upside down stair like this on both the chisel stone bricks and finally add one stone brick slab in between them. Like before, we're going to do this on all four sides, but make sure you're leaving a three block gap in the middle of all the sides. This will be how you actually walk down to the base of the fountain itself. Now walking down into the center and starting from there, we're going to add one stone brick in each of the four corners, then three more stone bricks coming away from those stone bricks that we just placed. It might sound a little bit complicated, but I'm sure you can follow along right here. Then we're going to add the steps that will allow you to be able to get down to the lower end of the fountain or into the center of the fountain. What we're going to do is we're going to get our stone brick slabs just like what we're doing right now and counting five across, we're going to place them down. Then obviously they'll connect to the actual other stone bricks that we just placed a moment ago. Now in each of the corners, we're going to place one single stone brick and one chisel stone brick. If done correctly, it should end up looking just like this. Now we're going to get our glowstone along with our oak fences out and start building the corner lights. Starting on top of the corner chisel stone bricks like what I'm doing right here, build upwards using four oak fences. Then crouch and place one oak fence hanging over the edge. Now jumping down, we're going to add one glowstone and place three trapdoors on each of the sides of the glowstone block itself, except from the bottom. We're going to do this on all four corners as well, by the way. This part of the tutorial is rather difficult to explain as I'm really just adding gravel and the remaining grass blocks that we have but in rather specific locations so i've used terracotta to hopefully easily show you where i'll be placing the blocks if it isn't already obvious the gray terracotta is where the gravel will go and the lime green terracotta or the green terracotta is where the grass blocks will go i'd recommend pausing right now so you can actually more easily do this part but if you want to try and follow along with what i do you can do that also Now that we've filled in the fountain floor, we can actually start building the base of the fountain. So first of all, what we're going to want to do is we're going to add the remaining dirt blocks that we have around the edges and one dirt block in the middle. Again, I've used brown terracotta as an example as to where the dirt will go if you can't already follow along, but I'm sure you probably can. Now we're going to add one prismarine brick on each side in between the three dirt blocks that we just placed. Then we're going to take our dark prismarine blocks and go around the base of the fountain. We'll finally add our four sea lanterns on each side of the dirt block in the middle, and that'll be us done. We're now going to really finish the base by adding the last of our chisel stone bricks on all four corners and adding our mossy stone bricks along with normal stone bricks around the edges to add some more detail. You'll see I did make a few mistakes myself while doing this part and I actually messed up two or three of the corners but I, I fixed it almost straight away. I was trying to make sure I placed all the mossy stone bricks and all the chisel stone bricks in the correct locations but I was going a little bit too fast so if you guys need to pause don't feel wrong to do so I don't know. <laughs> now finishing the fountain we're going to take our dark prismary once again and from the middle of the fountain where we placed our one dirt block build up three blocks blocks, then place our last stone brick and surround that stone brick with the remaining dark prism room that we have. Now finally we just need to add the mossy cobblestone wall on top and some water and that's the build finished. Adding the water above the mossy cobblestone wall is a, a bit of a slight pain just as an FYI, um, I kind of struggled a little bit as you'll see right here, but once you've done that, that's pretty much you've done. All you need to do is just get some more water and add that into the base of the fountain 
and you're done. If you really want to replicate the original lobby though, down to the last detail, you can add these four ferns, uh, or ferns, whatever they're called, in these spots. However, I, again, it's not a big change if you do or if you don't. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this tutorial and found it useful, please share it with your friends and family, drop it a like, and if you have any questions or issues, leave a comment and I'll respond as soon as I can. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay notified on when I release another episode of this series. And other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll hopefully see you all later.